Materials needed. Two white papers, pencil and eraser, sharpie, crayons, blue watercolor paint, a brush and some water, scissors, and glue. First step, draw your portrait using pencil. Make sure you draw lightly so that if you make a mistake, you can erase. I know I've had plenty of times where I try drawing and I draw too dark and it won't come off when I want to erase it. So make sure you draw lightly. Always start with the big things first, like the head and the body, before you go in and add details like the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Um, it, I'm going to slow it down step by step in the next part of this video. So be patient and um, you can either pause or wait for that part. First, draw the face. I started with a U, then I added ears and eyes, making sure they line up. Add the bridge to the nose and a little curve or U shape for the top. Then add two backward C's and a loop for the bottom of the nose, a smile. Then add the lips, making an M on top and a U on the bottom. Add two round parts for the cheeks. Add eyebrows, of course. Then I added eyelashes, but that's not a, an important part. If you don't want to add eyelashes, don't worry about it. Now make sure you add some hair that goes across your forehead and then hair that travels up the page. Boys, if you want to keep your hair short, just make a little bit of it that looks like it's floating to the top. So I kept adding hairlines here. Then I added a line to the right that touches the side of the paper and a line to the left that touches the side of the paper. That's the top of the arms. Now add the bottom of the arms and the part of the body. Then create your swimsuit. I have some different examples coming up of what kind of swimsuit you can add. I decorated mine with polka dots and then I was finished. Here's an example of a boy that I drew and a girl with a two-piece swimsuit. Then, don't forget, add, erase those pencil marks. We don't want to see any pencil marks, so go ahead and erase those. That's, of course, after you trace with Sharpie. Then, I'm going to color with crayon. I made sure to spicy color, which is something that I've explained in previous videos, but it's where you take a lighter color and fill in the whole space. Then I take a darker color and go around the outside. I'll show you that in a second. So make sure you get rid of all of the white space on your portrait. We don't ever leave white. There we go. I just grabbed some more coloring in. It's okay if you go on top of the Sharpie because Sharpie's permanent and won't rub off. So I'm coloring it in, making sure I fill in all of the white spaces. So I grabbed brown because brown is darker than peach. And I made sure I looked at my skin to see what color skin I have. So I have a very light colored skin. So I took a peach and then I took brown to do my spicy coloring. And I added a little bit of shading up by the forehead. And I make sure when I tell my students how to spicy color, I tell them to go around every black line that there is. This way they can um, show the details and sometimes it helps show some shadows. So go in there with the brown and I trace around all of the skin color with um, that dark brown. I add a little bit of shading under the neck. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of shading by the bathing suit as well. Did you know that wherever two things touch, there's always a shadow? So that's why I always kinda add a shadow wherever the skin touches something because two things that touch. Now with lips, people like to color them with pink or red, but that will make it look like you're wearing lipstick. So I always use skin color first and then I add a little bit of pink on top and it makes it look more natural. Here I am, I have blonde hair, so I'm coloring my hair with a light color first. So I start with the yellow, and then eventually I'm gonna add some um, peach and then some browns, because my hair's not actually yellow. It's like a darker blonde, so I make sure that I add that. But I always start with the lighter color first. How are y'all doing with your coloring? I hope that you're making sure you fill in all the white spaces and adding that spicy color to make it look more realistic. So here I am, I'm adding some brown that I told you I was gonna do. Oh gosh, I broke a crayon. <laughs> I add some brown and I make sure that I add some um, stringy lines to make it look like my hair um, because no hair is super solid. It always has the fine lines, so I go in that. I'm going to add color to my swimsuit and I thought I wanted to do some blue. So I went in with a light blue and then a dark blue outline and you can color your bathing suit however you want. Maybe if you're having trouble picking a color, you think of your favorite color and you add that. So go ahead, finish up coloring your beautiful underwater self portraits. The next part is my favorite. So this part's awesome. With a white crayon on your second piece of white paper, you're gonna draw some bubbles and some wavy lines going from the top of your paper down to the bottom. This is gonna have us show that water that we're gonna be swimming in, either it's a pool or a lake or the ocean. We definitely wanna add bubbles and some white lines. Thank you. 
The next step is to add watercolor. I use Blick liquid watercolor, but if you have a watercolor palette, like a Crayola one that has all the colors, you can use that too, just use the glue. So I'm gonna apply water to my brush and then add some paint onto my brush as well. And I'm gonna paint it on using long brush strokes that go from the top to the bottom of the paper. Now if my water or my paint gets too dark, I go in and I add a little bit more water to my brush before I add more paint. This way it can thin out the paint that you've already applied and it makes it look a little less dark which, you know, a pool is a light blue, it's not a dark blue. So that is why I thin out the paint with the water to make it lighter. Go ahead and fill your whole paper with that blue watercolor paint using lots of water and a little bit of paint to make it a light blue wash. Now, if you have some salt, I challenge you to add a little sprinkle of salt to your wet watercolor paint and see what happens. Now, before you do anything else, you need to let your paper dry completely because we cannot glue our portrait on to a wet paper. Now, it's time to cut and glue your portrait to the blue water background. Make sure that all of the flat pieces at the top and bottom and sides of your portrait line up with the paper. You don't want it to look like your head or hands or body got chopped off. So make sure it lines up with the bottom, with the bottom of your bathing suit and the arms line up to the sides of the paper as well. We are finished. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Art With You. New uploads weekly.